Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we will create this cool Lego head animation. It is really simple, guys. The artist, Jenny Sanchez Art, generated with his illustration over 40k likes. Wow. And we will also animate it today. <gasps> the 3D, the 3D objects. objects. Find the code in the video and get free project files. Good luck, guys. All right, let's start with the tutorial. And first we create the main head here. And for this, we need the image and the for view window. Go to front and we drag and drop the image here inside. And then we can recreate it. It's not the best one, I know, but it's enough. So first we need a cylinder. Rename it to bottom and here we need a radius of 228 height 93 and 60 and 60 for the segments and we also want that the edges are rounded put a check mark under filet so in the next step we create the main head here and we need again a new cylinder. We name it to main, go under object, change the radius to 366 and the height to 600. And here we also take under rotation segments 60. And in the next step, we bevel the edges. For this, we have to create a current state object out of it. Delete the main object, go back here to the for view window and we need now the line selection here. Select also the main part. Here on the left side you find the loop selection and now we have to select this part here. Hold shift and also select the bottom part. Go now under select and store the selection. Go now under the deformer tag and we need the bevel deformer. Put it under the main object and put the selection here inside. For angle we need 0, for offset we need 100 and for subdivisions 10. So when we go here back in our view we have the perfect rounded edges. In the last step we create the and for this we need a tube. Bring it here up and here we can rescale it. For outer radius we need 174 and inner radius 190 and for the rotation segments 60. Perfect. All right and now we go back here to the main view. And we select the tube and we also put a check mark under filet to get rounded edges. And we copy and paste the main part. We name it to face. We will later on project the face sticker on it. And bevel you can also delete. Make it invisible. And here we connect plus delete the object to get one object of the main so that the bevel deformer is applied. Select the main part. Now we go to polygon selection and take the loop selection, select it here. And now we take the scale tool, rescale it to the size of the tube. And after it, you can delete it. Now we had the perfect hole here. So now we go on the ground and here we also take the loop selection and we rescale it. So and now we can delete it. So we get also here on the ground the hole. All right. And now we select bottom, main and tube and connect object plus delete. So now we have here our main head and that's it for the 3D part. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it. <gasps> With over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon. Link is in the caption. The materials. Now you can download all HDRI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go. Download it. And let's move on with the tutorial. All right, now we came to the cool part, the material part. And for this, we open first the render viewer. In the next step, we insert a plane as the background. You can't see it now because it's small. Rotate it by 90 degrees and rescale it. Oh, in the next step, we insert a camera. Press the plus icon because the view from here is good. Now deselect the plus icon because we want that the plane is not in the head. <laughs> All right. So now we go here under the render settings. And here we changed 1080 by 1350 pixels. 
And we go also under advance, go then to redshift. And because we work with glass, we have to denoise it to get a better result. If not, it's really noisy or your render time is really long. So rescale it again, zoom in. That looks good. And now we go also here to the camera, go on the coordinates. Here you can this zero out. Just make to 90 that it's perfectly fitting here. And we also rotate it here a little bit, like in our example. We start with the lightning. For this, we need first the dome light. Select the dome light, go under object, press add graph. And now you can insert here the HDRI map. You find it, of course, on my Patreon for free. Oh, and now we get this lightning here. You can also go here under the coordinates and rotate it. And uh, intensity multiplier, take it to 2 to make it more brighter. And in the next step, we create our first material. Open the material manager here and double click to create a new material. And the first material is the plain material. Open it, go here under color, here under hashtag and here we can insert the color code. It's blue. And we also change the metallness value to 0 0.5 and roughness also to 0 0.5. Aye, aye, aye. I don't know if you hear it, but my computer is really loud because it's so warm. <laughs> okay, so in the next step, we create the glass material. Double click, create a new material, put it here on the tube, open the material, delete it. And now we insert a new material here inside. So we can work with the redshift presets and here we change to glass. So under roughness we take 0.1 and IOR is the transparency reflectance value and plastic is 1.46. You can google it, it's physics. So now we have this weird things happened here inside and to fix it you have to rotate the scene a little bit. All right and now it looks like this. I don't like the result here but when the first head is inside of the object it disappear directly because of the reflection values the inside. So it's not now really necessary. But I would say we change again here the orientation from the dome light. Oh, that looks perfect. Okay, in the next step, we create the face. And for this, we need a new material. Open the material and drag and drop the face image here inside. You also find it on my Patreon. All right, so now drag and drop the material on the face. Make face visible again. Now we need color splitter. Put it here inside, connect it together. Also the image with the material, with the base color and output R with geometry opacity. So now we have the face and we have to rescale it now. Go under the image and choose values. <laughs> so these are my values for the beginning. Select the face and rotate it first. All right, now it looks like this. Select the face, go here to the edit mode, go out of the camera and select the top, delete it, take the loop selection tool, select the ground and delete it. So now the issues are away. Go back in the camera view. Now we get this perfect result here. Open the material again. Now we go here under the material tag and we increase roughness to one. Perfect. All right, now we go back here to the main uh, model selection. Select the tube and the face, copy and paste it, create a new null object, put it here inside, rename it to yellow because we create now the yellow head. Go out of the camera view and bring it to the top like this. All right, now we create a new material, put it here on the glass and here we change the color to yellow. Put it here inside and roughness 0.2 is right. Now we get a perfect plastic color. Now we need a subdivision surface to fix the face. Put it here inside and we need here also a subdivision surface and put the face inside and now it gets smooth out and now you can bring it here to the front get the perfect faces so select the yellow head rescale it to 0 0.2 in all axes and now you can go back to the camera view so the material part is ready guys the animation, the animation. The animation. The animation. The animation. The animation.
All right, now we came to the last part, the animation part, and we make it really simple, guys. First, increase the animation duration to 250 frames. Now select yellow and make connect object plus delete. Now we have to select the tube. This is the glass object. Go to bullet tags. Here are the older versions of the animation tags. We have to choose the collider body. And for yellow, we need a cloner. Put it here inside. Cloner under cloner, change to linear. And under this value, you can increase it. The distance, this looks good. And under rotation, you can create a randomness. And yeah, now increase the count to 100. You can also make the distance bigger. Now we go here under the bullet tags and select rigid body. But before we start, we also look over the hole if it fits. That looks good. You can also make the head smaller and create two lines next to each other and animate it with this uh, cloner here. Copy and paste it and make it here under the transform window smaller. Okay, now we can hit play. So, and as you can see, it also rendered really fast. Of course, it's now not the best result but play around with the values you don't have to change the values only the cloner count and yeah maybe the size of the heads and the rotation value that it fits perfectly inside of the head but this is the main technique that you have to use well done guys three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels one there you can get exclusive shoutouts if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support, guys. And that's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.